Hey everyone, welcome back to your 21st native script video in which we're going to start off with our e-commerce application by creating a login page for that. So the first page would allow users to log into our application so that from there onwards, we are able to track all the things you a particular user is doing, right? So let me just get rid of all of these comments, which take a lot of space here. And we could just pretty much get rid of this one as well, right? And this one as well. All right, so what we want to do now is if we save this, you're gonna see that we get a blank application page waiting for us to write something. Now let's just go ahead and create a simple login form, which we already created in some other video, but this time we're gonna make use of some CSS as well so that we are able to, you know, add some styling and stuff to it. So I'm gonna create a flex box and inside this, I'm gonna get ourselves a stack layout. Layout, right? And we can give this a class of form, which is essentially what we would be creating. The next thing is um, we need some sort of logo or label at least for our application. So we're gonna give it a class of header and we're gonna say, nope, not here. Inside our text property, I'm gonna just say this is e-commerce yeah <laughs> because this is an e-commerce app next thing is we could we want to have a couple of fields here for username and password or for email and password and we're just going to go ahead and give it throw it inside a stack layout as well so i'm going to get an input field of stack layout and because we need a couple of these so we're gonna get that as well right all right, so once we have that in here, what we want is a text field right here, which is an input and would just be like username. And what we want it's text to be is coming from our uh, model that is our email or rather this should be username now because we're using username, right? Similarly, we need a similar text field just right here which says password here but because this is a password field we're going to set it secure to true so that we get those dots and this would also change to password all right so once we have that in place we also need a button right here to help us log in so i'm going to say this is login and on tap i want it to fire the summit function and uh, we could actually make use of some inbuilt classes provided by native script as well so i know i haven't touched upon that but native script actually comes up with some inbuilt styles applied to um, which you can apply using classes right so button button primary is one class which would make your button kind of look like a primary button right and there's also this one class which allows you to set margin and stuff which is dynamic. We're gonna discuss dynamic classes later on, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna make use of them and maybe we could just discuss it later when we are you know, actually doing some um, dedicated video on that one. Or maybe yeah, we could just go ahead and use that at that point only. All right, so once we have that, what we need is we need some styles now for all of these classes which we have in place here. Right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a file which is exactly the same name as my page here. So I'm gonna say this is my main page dot CSS, right? And uh, I'm gonna paste in my, whatever I want to do, my styles would go inside this main page dot CSS file. Now, starting off with our um, form at the moment, because we, we don't really need to style our page. What we can do is, uh pretty much we could just say that this has a margin left of 30 margin right of 30 which would kind of create make it in center right and we could say for our page is that we want it should it should be like um justify content center and we can give it align items center justify content 
all right so let's just remove that justify content rule and add a width 100 percent here to make our form full width and once we have that done let's just go ahead and style our header which should be this label right here right and i'm just going to give this a font size of 25 let's align this in center i'm going to say that uh, it has a color of maybe red and we could also give it a font weight of like 600 or something which would make it bold eventually right we could also give it a march and button of 70 which would create some space for us right and uh, finally we could have our input fields with us which would also have some march and bottom and once we have that we should be able to see that there are some differences some spacing right here in a similar way we would be just styling our input as well by increasing the font size a little bit maybe to 20 and we could also give it a placeholder color right so that's this is something you could give directly inside um native script you see it changes as well so you could give placeholder colors directly this is not really a css valid rule but you know because you are in native script this would pretty much work right on a similar way or actually we could just get rid of this at the moment on a similar way we would be able to style our um, login button right here you could pretty much do something with it so i'm going to say that this is our button primary and i'm going to give it a height of 50 let's say and the background color could be red as well we could also increase the font size right here by saying this font size is like maybe 20 I think 20 is the default no not really for the buttons and you could again make this um, font weight of 600 we could also create a little bit of divisions in here by you making use of our hr hr light class hr light which would essentially just create a light horizontal rule for us and similarly pasting it right here save and what we're gonna see is that we get a nice little line here as well for ios devices and yeah that's pretty much it we would be able to now go ahead to our typescript file create a function summit which would again be having an ours object having event data we're gonna get our button by giving a giving get a reference of button and making our start object equal to that then we can also get our button right here from our dns score modules i'm going to get page from this button dot page and we could pretty much you know check if the user is correct user id is correct and then we can navigate the page away using page dot frame dot navigate right which we have discussed in the last couple of videos so yeah that's pretty much it for part one of creating logic creating a login application and in the next one we're going to probably add some logic here and set up our server as well for the authentication part so i'll see you then in the next one